Hey folks, it's Anders, Communications Director for DeSantis Watch, back with your update on what America's most absentee governor has been up to. Last week, Florida wrapped up its 60-day legislative session. And these last two months, Ron and his rubber stamp legislature have waged an all-out assault on our freedoms. They passed an extreme near-total abortion ban, more unconstitutional legislation that will cost Florida taxpayers millions to defend in court, and dangerous permitless carry of loaded concealed guns that will make us less safe. What they didn't do was anything to address Florida's growing affordability crisis, instead giving more handouts to the insurance industry and the billionaire and corporate elites who fund Ron DeSantis' political ambitions. Now that session is over, we know that Florida's governor is prepared to leave us even further behind. In fact, this week he signed legislation that will keep his travel records and the logs of who visits him at the governor's mansion secret. Why is he doing that? Because he does not want people to know how much it is costing taxpayers for him to run for president. The good news is this. We now have the chance to fight back. The governor's flailing presidential campaign is not catching on, and it's time that all of us get involved and make sure that Americans know that what's happening here in Florida can't happen in the rest of the country. We deserve leaders who care about us, who focus on all our communities, who know that no matter where we come from, who we love, or what our background, we all deserve the chance to work hard to achieve our version of the American dream. We hope you'll join us in holding Ron DeSantis accountable and be a part of our movement at DeSantisWatch.org.